A stilty gray looking retro bike that offers affordability, fun, and practicality. Lahat ng yan in one quirky package. Introducing the Honda Super Cup C125 2021. Hey, what is going on guys? Mr. Legalag here. And in today's video, we'll go over the specs and changes to find out what's new in this C125 model. But before we start, if you're new to this channel, please do remember to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell, so you're the first to know when I upload anything new. So Honda just recently announced the latest revision of their Honda Super Cup C125 2021, but a year right before they released this version, K-Speed made a graceful revision of this model and made their own custom C125 named K-Udom. If you remember or haven't watched the modified version of this bike yet from K-Speed, you will find it on the list of my videos. So the timeless classic look is unchanged since the 1958 release except that it has been added with a red pillion seat and standard foot pegs. The mounted seat on the tubular brackets is for the passenger and can also be used for strapping luggages. They have also updated the new springs for the fork and the rear shock absorbers to improve riding quality. LED lighting throughout has been added to the bike. The clocks are in LCD digital display, sitting at the center of an analog speedometer, plus their latest keyless ignition system that helps you activate ignition remotely via proximity fob. And not only that, it can be used as an immobilizer and with just a push of a button, the cab will answer you back with a LED blinking indicators which is a big help finding your cab in crowded places. Fuel capacity of the cab is 3.7 liters. The wheels are cast aluminum with tire size of 70, 19, 17 in front and 80, 90, 17 in rear. Front brake is on 220mm disc brake with single piston caliper and ABS. Rear brake is 110mm drum brake. Now let's take a look at the engine side. Interestingly, the new C125 has an air-cooled engine that meets Euro 5 regulation with a redesigned crankcase from current Japanese market C110 with single overhead cam, two valve cylinder head, and top end at the latest MSX Grom. The 2021 version used a 52.4 mm bore and 57.9 mm stroke. It produces slightly more power and more efficient returning fuel economy of 1.5 liters per 100 kilometers. The gearbox remains at 4-speed unit with neutral at the bottom. So just to give you some fun facts about the Super Cub Honda provided, like the traditional Super Cub, it has always used 4-stroke engine even its first 1958 release. Super Cub is semi-automatic, it had to avoid the need for a clutch lever so a delivery rider could ride one-handed while with a stack of soba noodles on his left hand. The size 17 inch wheels relatively large enough to handle Japan's uneven road surfaces. So that's the short review for our Honda C125 2021. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Or if there is anything that I have missed in this review, just let me know in the comment section. And that is the end of our video. I hope we get more updates on the upcoming year from Honda. Thank you so much for watching. Ride safe everyone and stay safe.